humility is not being a pushover. It's not um, being sappy. Um, it's not letting people just take advantage of you and just do you any kind of way. You're not a doormat. Uh, if you are a person that walks in humility. Being humble means that just that you are not prideful, you're not stuck up, you're not arrogant, you are not, you don't think that you're more than you are, you accept things as they come, but you are who you are. It doesn't mean that you just lay down and let people, you know, do and know what they want to you or say what you want to you. Now, granted, there's a way to handle those situations, and some situations you are, you will walk away, you will just... Let the person do it and say whatever, and you just keep it moving. Now, as far as the one putting their hands on you and maybe or something like that, you know, that is a situation where I'm not saying you have to fight the person, but you might have to restrain and or get away from that situation. All situations are going to be different, but what I'm saying is um, humility, being humble or walking in humility is not... Um, you know, it's not that people take advantage of you or people are pushing. You're not a pushover or something like that. You're not a fool, you know, because people take you for that because you walk in humility. You know, you're kind-hearted and or, you know, you're just humble. You're, you're, just, you're not just out there, you know, boasting and <coughs> carrying on like that. You just, your, your presence is a humble presence. You know, you're, you're, you're well-respected. Oh, and whatnot, but some people don't respect you because of that. They think that they can do what they want to to you, you know, overlook you, overpower you, you know, <laughs> and things of that nature. But that's not, you know, that's not what it's about. They're, they're, they're actually, they're the person that looks foolish when you're, you know, suddenly trying to push somebody down or talk about somebody or run somebody down or hurt them. Uh, and they're not bucking back at you because it's just not necessary to come back at you. We can see who you are. You know, we can see the person that, that, that type of person, that bully, or that person who was high minded and prideful. We see all, you know, because you know a, a fruit is known, a tree is known by its fruit, right? You know, you can see the leaves, uh, you can see the fruit, you know, so you already know what type of person that is, so you, you just keep on going because. Uh, nine times out of ten, that person is a hurt person, they're an angry person, you know, they're a shallow person, and they're an empty person, so what what more damage do you want to do to them, <laughs> as, you know, they're already hurting, as it is, they're alone, uh, or whatever, and, uh, you know, how that is, so they already have that low self-esteem situation going on, so there's no need to ever buck back at a person, or retaliate at us from, uh, uh retaliate, uh, uh, at such a person. So, yeah, so basically, you know, being humble again, just, you know, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself, but being hum a person of humility does not mean that you're a doormat or that you're a pushover or that people can just take advantage of you any type of way that they want to. Uh, you should, you know, you want, we want to walk uh, the way Jesus walked and, uh, and that's how he walked now, now not uh, just allow things to happen. You say what you have to say, you know, and uh, well, like I said, it was okay. Where I was going was there's a way, uh, you know, to handle every situation gracefully. You know, we handle things with grace and with uh, de decorum. You know, you don't have to cuss people out or fight people or talk behind people's back or be angry at people and things of that nature. But because the bottom line is, once you have the spirit of the Lord in you and you have a discerning spirit, you already know, again, you already know what that person's life is about. You already, you read them, you know, in and out, you know. So you already know. I mean, some of us have even been in that place before ourselves. So we already know what type of person did. So there's no need to... You know, all, all we can do is pray for the person and treat them well, show them the love of Christ, you know, where we can. And some people are so toxic, you just have to just avoid that person altogether. Um, but, but, uh, but, but again, what I was going to say is just 
you know, there's a way to handle it, uh, the situation with uh, grace and decorum, and of course, the love of God, um, and with prayer um, for that situation. So, um, walk in, continue to walk in humility. Don't, don't uh, be turned off by it or um, feel like you have to, you know, retaliate or anything like that. That's really not necessary. You know. To, uh, it's really not necessary. So just continue to walk in God and stay in the spirit of God so that you will not um, uh, fulfill the lust of the flesh, basically, you know, because that kind of thing kind of makes us embarrassed or it makes us angry or, you know, things hurt us or whatever. But again, once you know when you have the spirit of discernment, you discern the spirit and of that person or that, that environment or atmosphere or whatever the situation is, then you can go from there, you know, uh, don't, don't walk in the flesh, you know, on, on that situation, so, uh, so that's all I want to say, hope you will be blessed by this exhortation, uh, short as it is, and, and although I said things, uh, the same things more than one time, but still, I hope you get the gist of the message that I am bringing, I uh, pray that you will be mightily blessed by it, and, uh, strengthened in your inner man, um, by it, um, in Jesus' name, and then, and that you would also be an example to others because we are the light of uh, the world. We, we are lights, little lights, and, and we cannot be uh, shown men who we are if we are hidden under a bushel. Uh, so let your light so shine that men will see you and want to know who your God is. God bless you. Just want to say, live that victorious life in Christ Jesus, encouraging you to do that. God bless. Bye-bye.